Table topics can really be a fun experience or sometimes it can also be a scary experience. You see, as a table topics speaker, sometimes we may have two types of scenarios. Number one, we don't know what to say. Or number two, we tend to say too much without structure so we end up beating around the bush, right? Have you met speakers like this before? If you do, comment down below. Hi everyone, my name is Coach Mahadeer and I am the district champion for the table topics category in 2020. And I want to share with you a simple concept that I've created that helped me to become the district champion. Now, I'm not saying that if you follow this, you will become a district champion, but it would definitely spice up your table topics skills. If you're new to this channel, why not drop a like, a share, and subscribe so that more people will be able to learn and benefit from this video as well. Now, straight to the video, how to be a better table topic speaker using the structure that I've created. I call this structure the CASA because I want you to be a CASA Nova speaker. And CASA just simply spells out as C-A-S-A. -A. It's a very simple structure, but it takes practice to get good at it. So let's start off with C. C stands for catchy opening. Right off the bat, in any presentation, you want to be able to catch the audience's attention, hook them right from the start. And how do you do this? There are plenty of ways. There is the question method, there's the imagine method, and in my clients, when I coach them, I teach them six powerful opening techniques so that they can immediately hook the audience's attention. But let's say, for example, you can start with a question or imagine that sets you apart from a lot of speakers. So if you were thrown the topic, think to yourself, is there a question that I can ask regarding this topic? Or is there an imagination that I want the audience to picture in their minds? That is a surefire way to hook them right from the start. Following after that, you need to have what I call as the agreement. Agreement means that what is your stand regarding this topic? Do you agree? Do you disagree or do you want to talk around the topic? So once you share your agreement, share with them a reason behind your agreement so that you could really help the audience to picture exactly what you want them to picture and to help them be on your side. Following the next step is story. So in story, it is good to share a personal story, news or experiences that you've seen so that this would help to illustrate your whole point better. So ask yourself, is there a personal story that I've been through that relates to the topic, that relates to the agreement that I've had? And if you did, put them in here. Because again, people love stories. And Aristotle once said that stories connect with other people on an emotional level. And people love to hear stories. So share them here. Finally, A, which is action plan. In my table topic speeches, I love to give the audience an action plan. Kind of like a persuasive speech where you give them a call to action, similar to that. So if you can give them an actionable plan to do something right after your table topic speech, that will really help to make the audience remember you better. So give them an actionable step. Now to put everything into perspective, let's say we're talking about a topic, for example, what is the difference between living and existing? A very common table topics question. So you can always start off with a catchy opening. Like we mentioned earlier, you can start with a question or you can start with an imagine. So let's start off with, let's say, a question. Raise your hands, ladies and gentlemen, if you think that living and existing is two different things. Let me see. Question done. Now we go into agreement. Personally, for me, I agree that living and existing are two separate entities. You see, living is when you live life to the fullest, doing things that you're really passionate about. And existing is just merely going through life and not chasing the things that you want, being automatic like a robot. See, so that is your agreement. You have shared your agreement point where you agree that they are two separate entities. And now you also share a reason why you think so because living is this, existing is that. Now, let's go into story. You see, I remembered one day waking up in the morning. It was around September of 2014 when I was still in my university degree. I was a psychology student. It was that morning I remembered where I woke up feeling that 
I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I thought back to myself and reflected that psychology, that wasn't something that I wanted to go for, but I just followed my sister's footstep and just went into it anyway. It was my third year. I was having doubts. Haven't you felt doubts before? At that period of time, I was just existing, going through day by day, doing something that I was not truly passionate about. But when I finally graduated, there was a light at the end of the tunnel because I saw something that I could really be passionate in and I wanted to do. And that is to become a public speaking coach. So when I started going into public speaking training, my eyes lit up and every day in my life did not feel like I was existing anymore. I was living. And so will you. What is your passion? Where do you want to go? What is your dream? Ladies and gentlemen, don't live every day just existing. Live every day by living. Find your passion. Do what you need to do. And do what you love. So over there, I shared with you the story and I shared with you the action plan, which is find your passion, find your dreams and do what you love. So as you can see, we have the C-A-S-A, -A, the catchy opening, agreement, story, and finally the action plan. So if you found this video useful, why not like, share, and subscribe so that more people can benefit. If you want to take your presentation skills to the next level, you can always contact me down below with my email and I'll be more than happy to get back to you with more information. Take care, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!